A wind pump is a type of windmill which is used for pumping water. Hello viewers, this instructional video demonstrates the basic working mechanism of a multi-blade wind pump. Wind pumps are mainly comprised of 18 blades. The blades are slightly bent to an exact curvature. To efficiently capture the wind, a metal rib is fitted snugly to the blade and also has a tab that slots into the hole in the sail center, allowing the two sides to interlock. The metallic bands are fit through the ribs to assemble the sails together. The wheel arms that are screwed into the metallic hub hold the sails of the windmill. The sail structure is mounted on the wheel arms. The wheel hub is connected to a shaft that extends to the gearbox. The shaft, which is connected to the wheel hub, has two gears mounted on it in the gearbox. As the gears rotate along the shaft, the bigger gears that are meshed to them rotate in the opposite direction. The bigger gears are connected to a guide wheel by pitman arms. The guide wheel is mounted on a pitman guide that allows it to slide up and down with the rotational motion of the connected gears. The guide wheel is connected to a pump rod which is extended into the ground. The pump rod goes through a cylindrical drop pipe inside the ground. The pump rod is connected to a plunger that acts like a piston and has leather cups to keep the plunger in direct contact with the cylindrical wall and allows water to pass only through the valve when the plunger is making a downstroke. There is a similar check valve at the bottom of the cylinder that is fitted to a strainer below the water level in the ground. On a downstroke, water is held in cylinder by check valve and the plunger descends to the bottom, while the water passes through the plunger valve. With each upstroke of the pump, the plunger forces a cylinder full of water into drop pipe. and out to discharge tank, hence pumping the water out. The gearbox is mounted on a mast pipe and is also connected to a tailbone on which the vane is bolted. The entire mill can revolve on mast pipe and vane changes the direction of the mill according to the wind direction. Note that wheel hub or shaft is offset from the mast pipe and also the tailbone is offset on the opposite side of the mast pipe. The gearbox has a vane spring attached to the tailbone. 
In high wind conditions, the wind force furls the mill counterclockwise, pivoting the mill on the mast pipe. Whereas the tailbone is parallel to the wind direction. The tension on the vane increases as the mill is furled and holds the mill into the wind or higher wind velocities. The increased tension on the spring causes the wheel to return into the wind when the wind velocity decreases. Wind pumps have been used since the 9th century, used extensively for irrigation purposes and provides water as free as the wind. Thank you for watching.